Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor Random Assay and today I'll be looking at this CF390 Curve Screen Monitor from Samsung. This is the Samsung 24 inch CF390. Depending on where you shop, the CF390 is one of the cheapest curved screen monitors that you can get on the market. If you stay till the end of the video, I'll reveal why I bought this monitor and whether I've seen a benefit in having this a week after putting it to the test. If we have a closer look at this monitor, it's streamlined at 11.9 millimeters with a black frame bordering the whole screen sitting nicely presented on a non-height adjustable circular stand. The main feature of this monitor, as you can tell from its look and the title of this video, is its curved screen. The CF390 features an 1800R screen. The number makes reference to the radius of the circle the curve would create if you were to complete the circle. In terms of curved monitors that Samsung currently manufacture, they only make two curvier screen models than this one, the 1500R and the 1000R, which are obviously both more expensive than this one. I think as a general rule of thumb for the degree of curvature in screens against a flat screen monitor is that curved screens appear to be more immersive as you feel closer to the action thanks to the almost wraparound screen effect. Obviously slightly exaggerated on a screen like this but the effect is still there, especially if you're playing games with added depth perception and less disturbance from outside distractions. As viewing curved screens can give you a greater field of vision, it can be more comfortable on the eyes thanks to the reduction in eye strain due to this type of screen. To the rear it houses the control stick which allows you to easily access the monitor's menu and advanced features. Connectivity wise the monitor allows you connection to your device via HDMI and VGA with other slots for the power adapter and the headphone jack. If you are looking for a monitor with multiple HDMI slots or even a display port slot, then there are other curved monitors available that have additional slots, or you could even purchase a HDMI switch. There are also mounting slots on the rear, allowing you to position the monitor on a stand or on a wall in either portrait or landscape orientation. For a Samsung curved monitor of this price, there's quite a few features packed into this 24 inch monitor, which is also available in 27 inch size. The screen offers full HD at 1920 by 1080 resolution with an aspect ratio of 60 by nine, giving you great picture clarity at this screen size. It features Samsung's advanced VA panel, which aids in causing very little light leakage from the display, providing a contrast ratio of 3000 to one, resulting in black and white colors on the screen actually looking black and white, as well as giving you the ability to differentiate differentiate between colors. The high contrast ratio, lower power consumption for similar brightness, ability to make images pop out more with less image sticking and reduction of that white glow that you sometimes get from looking at a screen all contribute to giving you that immersive experience when compared to older and some flat screen monitors. It has a stated max refresh rate of 60 Hz, but with this plugged into my Mac Mini and with the added feature of AMD Free Sync enabled and set to Ultimate Engine, eliminates that annoying screen tearing without the usual lag and latency, improving the max refresh rate to 72 Hz, meaning that compared to other monitors and even most TV screens which have a refresh rate of 60 Hz or less, then this screen is going to give you smoother motion, but obviously not as good as a screen with a higher refresh rate. But it will still offer a slightly better gaming experience than most same size TVs. Let's have a look at a few of those advanced features other than the basic adjustments that you can make. You can get access to this menu by pressing the button at the back of the monitor. Clicking the button accesses the menu where you can access source selection, advanced menus, turning the power off, and eye saver mode, which works by decreasing the monitor's normally harmful blue light emissions, which is a major contribution to eye fatigue. And with that added flicker freak technology that this and other Samsung screens have, further protecting your eyes from the strain of the screen flickering, you're able to have a more comfortable viewing experience, perfect for those prolonged periods of use. If we enter the advanced menus and enter picture, you can select the preset picture adjustments. You can alter specific colors, change the color tone, the level of luminance and the gamma. You can amend the upscaling of the display between off and two modes. This setting enhances the picture detail and vividness. I find that because this increases the sharpness of the display, it can cause certain pictures to look noisy and less detailed. Game mode, which allows you to optimize image settings for playing games and response time. Set it to a maximum of four milliseconds, which allows you to change the acceleration that the monitor responds to image transitions, making the display appear more vivid and natural. Low response time is great for those fast paced videos and gameplay. In the system settings, you can access the free sync settings, which I talked about earlier, switching between off, standard engine and ultimate engine. Conforming to eco-friendly credentials, Eco Saving Plus allows you to adjust the power consumption of the monitor based on altering the luminance of the screen's blacks to reduce energy consumption by up to 10%. 
Depending on which settings you have enabled, like dynamic contrast and the brightness, this may prevent the eco saving mode from being accessed and enabled. So that's the Samsung CF390 24 inch full HD curved monitor. Great for gaming, immersive viewing and productivity with its vivid and true color display production. Predominantly you're going to get the full 1800R curved screen experience when either doing solo tasks or single player gaming as you'll get the full immersion from being in the center of the screen compared to sharing the screen or not being in the center of the screen. Using a curved screen like this will most likely help reduce eye strain if that's something you are currently experiencing with your current setup. And at a price you're able to get this, it's not going to break the bank. At the start of the video I mentioned there was a reason why I bought this monitor. If you've seen some of my previous videos then you may have seen a TV in some of my shots. This 32 inch TV was what I was using as a monitor for my Mac Mini. For my day job, staring at the screen for hours on end, video editing on at the weekend and for gaming. As a result of prolonged use, so I often found myself with constant eye strain and headaches from essentially sitting so close to a TV screen. So getting something that could potentially help with that has been a must for a while. So I've had this monitor for a week now and I can say for the same weekly workload as the previous week with the TV, the excessive eye strain and headaches have all but gone and I've noticed a drastic improvement in the picture quality, colour vividness and clarity compared to the TV when the settings of the monitor reflect the type of experience I want to have for the current task. For example, I want a more vividness and more monitor extensive settings while gaming, but when I'm typing a document in Word I may want to decide for the eco and iSaver mode both on with less extensive monitor settings enabled. One of my main concerns was the reduction of screen size from 32 inches to 24 inches, but it's fine. I think the 24 inch screen size is probably the smallest I'd go for gaming and working. It would have been nice to have been able to adjust the height or orientation of the screen as opposed to having it in a fixed position, but with the ability to mount the screen on an arm or a wall mount, you're able to customise this in other ways. So this curved monitor from Samsung definitely gets a thumbs up from me. If you're looking for a monitor reasonably priced, packed with loads of features to accompany your PC, Mac or laptop as a primary or additional monitor in either portrait or landscape orientation, then this one should be a good choice. Just look at how well this budget curved screen goes with my budget Mac Mini, a perfect pairing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.